Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli and today our topic is how to create flow desk subscriber from Google Ads and add details in Google Sheets. So I am a digital marketer and I'm running my ad campaign on Google Ads to promote my business. So here what I want is that as I'm running my ad campaign on Google Ads and I'm receiving a lot of leads and as I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads then automatically I want to first create a new subscriber in Flowdesk which is my email marketing platform and after creating that subscriber I want to add my lead details in my Google Sheet so that I can keep record of all my leads in one place. So for my objective what I need to do is I need to build a connection between Google Ads, Flowdesk and Google Sheets. So for building this connection I'm going to use Pavli Connect which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pavli Connect, as I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then automatically I'm going to first create a new subscriber in Flowdesk and after creating that subscriber, I'm going to add my lead details in my Google Sheets. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can create Flowdesk subscriber from Google Ads and add details in Google Sheets. So imagine I'm a digital marketer running lead generation campaigns through Google Ads to capture potential customers interested in my products or services. So after collecting these leads, I want to add them as subscribers in my email marketing platform that is Flowdesk so that I can nurture these leads through targeted email campaigns and additionally I want to keep track of all my leads and their details in my Google Sheet. And as I'm going to add these lead details in my Google Sheet, I can document them for easy reference and analysis. But manually transferring these data from Google Ads to Flowdesk and Google Sheets can be time consuming and prone to errors, especially when I'm managing a high volume of leads. So automating this process ensures that my lead data is effectively managed and that every potential customer is engaged through my email campaigns and I have the data of all my leads in my Google Sheet. So this automation is ideal for businesses and marketers who use Google Ads to generate leads and want to streamline their email marketing efforts by using Flowdesk and by automatically adding leads to Flowdesk and recording them in Google Sheets, I can efficiently manage my leads data, nurture prospects through targeted email campaigns and maintain an organized record of my marketing efforts. So here what I want is that as I'm going to receive a new lead through my ad campaign that I'm going to run on Google Ads and as I'm going to receive that new lead then automatically I want to first create a new subscriber and I want to add that lead in my email list in Flowdesk and after adding that in Flowdesk I want to add those lead details in my Google Sheet. So here for building this automation and for creating this connection between Google Ads, Flowdesk and Google Sheet I need to use Pavli Connect. So with Pavli Connect, I can build this automation without any coding and programming skills. And for using Pavli Connect, I need to open a new tab. And here I need to search for pavli.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pavli Connect. Now here in the landing page, I have two options of sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pavli Connect, then we can just click on the sign up for free button. And this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I just need to click on this Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in the dashboard what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow and for that I'm going to click on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow so I'm going to name it as my objective which is to create flow desk subscriber from Google Ads and add details in Google Sheets. Now what I need to do is I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow so I'm going to open this tab and here in this tab I will find all the folders that I have in my Pabli Connect account. And I'm going to use this particular folder of Google Ads. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. And here in this window, we have two boxes of trigger and action. So these are the two main principle on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow 
an action is just going to follow that. So in our workflow, we can only set up single trigger step and multiple action steps. So here for setting up my workflow, what I need to do is I need to first set up my trigger and here I need to first search for my trigger application. So in my trigger application, I'm going to use Google ads. So I'm going to search for that and I need to select Google ads here. Now I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new lead form entry will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And now what I need to do is I need to connect Google ads with Pabli connect in my workflow. And for that, I need to use this Vabook URL. So this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between Google ads and Pabli connect. So for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. And first I need to copy this Vabook URL. And now I need to take you to my Google ads account. And as in Google ads, I'm not running any live campaign. So I will not receive any live lead from my Google ad campaign. But if you're running any live campaign on your Google ads account and you have a lead form in Google ads, then you can connect that form with Pabli connect and you can get the detail of the new leads that you are going to receive through your campaign in Pabli connect. So here for setting up my workflow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a test campaign and by using my test lead, I'm going to create my workflow and by following the same steps that I'm going to do here, you can get the live lead detail that you're going to receive through your live ad campaign and automatically through that lead, you can add that as a subscriber in Flowdesk and also you can add your lead details in Google Sheets. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a test lead and for that I have this test campaign and here I have created this ad form. So this is my test lead form and now what I need to do is I need to scroll down and in this form I need to add my Vabook. So for Vabook what I need to do is I need to open this option of lead delivery option and here I have this tab of Vabook URL. So here in this tab, I need to add my Vabook URL that I have copied from Pabli Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And now as I have added my Vabook, I need to give a key. So I'm going to give a test key. So I'm going to name it as Google Ads Lead. And now I have added my Vabook successfully in this particular form. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the test data of my lead to Pabli Connect. So by clicking on this button of send test data, I can get the test lead in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click here. And here I have successfully signed my test data to Pabli Connect. Now as I have generated the test lead and I have received that in Pabli Connect, you can also get the lead data that you are going to receive through your campaign automatically in Pabli Connect. You just need to add your Vabook URL in your lead form. So by following this step, you can get your lead data in Pabli Connect. And now I need to take you to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, we can see I have received this response. So this is the test data and in this I have received all the detail of my lead. And here I have received the city of my lead that is Mountain View. Also I have the last name that is last name. Also I have received the first name of my lead that is first name. I have the email that is test at the rate example.com. I have received this random phone number of my lead and I have all these other details. So I have received this detail from my test campaign and all these details are of our test lead. But similarly, when you will have a live campaign on your Google Ads account, you will receive the real lead detail in the similar manner. Now, as I have received this lead detail, what I need to do is I need to first create a new subscriber in my Flowdesk account so that I can start nurturing my leads and I can send targeted emails to my leads. And for creating a subscriber in Flowdesk, what I need to do is I need to first set up my action tab. So I'm going to open this tab. And here my action application is going to be Flowdesk. So I'm going to search for that. And I need to select Flowdesk here. Now I'm going to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and create slash update subscriber will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. Now what I need to do is I need to connect Flowdesk with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and I need to connect with Flowdesk. So I'm going to click here. And now I need to click on allow to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here. And I have successfully connected Flowdesk with Pabli Connect. Now here for creating a new subscriber, I need to fill all these tab. And here first I need to select the field by which I want to create my subscriber. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I need to use my email address of my lead to create a subscriber in Flowdesk. So I'm going to use email. But if you want to use subscriber ID, you can select that option too. So I'm going to select email here and now I need to give my field value. So in the field value, I'm going to give the email address of my lead that I've received through my response of Google ads. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my response of Google ad and I'm going to map that here in this tab. So for that, I need to use mapping and what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I need to click here. I will open the response of Google ads and here I'm going to map the email address of my lead. So this is the email address. So I'm going to map this. And now what I need to do is I need to map the first name and the last name of my lead. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Google ads and here this is the value of my first name. So I'm going to map this. Similarly, I'm going to map the last name and now I'm going to scroll down and I have this option of send opt-in confirmation emails to subscriber. So if I want to send a confirmation email to my subscribers, I can select this option of yes, but if I don't want to send any confirmation email, then I need to select no. Now I'm going to scroll down and I have all these other tabs too. I'm just going to give the mobile number of my lead. So I need to click here. I will open this response of Google ads. And here, this is the mobile number of my lead. So I'm going to map this. And now here, I'm going to leave these tab blank as I'm not receiving these details from my previous tab of Google ads. So I'm not going to fill any of these detail here. But if you want to fill these details, you can do that too. And here I have filled all the required details. Now, as I have mapped these details, I have made these details dynamic. So what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new response of new lead through Google ads, then automatically all these details that I've mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail in the real time. Now I need to scroll down and for creating a new subscriber, I need to click on save and send test request button. So here I have received this response and this is a positive response, but in this response, I have received the status that is bounced but I have created a subscriber in Flutters, but this has bounced because the email address that we have received as a test email from Google ads is not supported in Flutdesk. So that's why the subscriber has been bounced, but the subscriber has been created in Flutdesk. So to check whether I've created a subscriber in Flutdesk or not, I'm going to take you to Flutdesk. And now in Flutdesk, I need to take you to audience. And here in audience, we can see I have created this subscriber that has the email of test at the rate example.com and the first name is first name, last name is last name. So here I have successfully created this subscriber in Flutters and now I need to take you back to Pabli Connect. And now I'm going to show you by manually entering an email address in this tab, I'm going to clear this email of test lead and I'm going to manually add a random email address that can be created as a subscriber in Flutdesk. So here I'm going to use this email address of demo321 at the rate pabreviews.com and I'm going to scroll down and now I'm going to click on save and send test to get button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is also a positive response and in the status I have received the status of active. So here we can see that as I'm going to receive an email address of a real lead through Google ads, then automatically I will create a new subscriber in Flowdesk. So to check whether I've created a subscriber in Flowdesk or not, I'm going to take you to Flowdesk. I'm going to refresh this page. And here in Flowdesk, we can see I have created this new subscriber that is demo321 at the rate pabletudes.com and I have the status that is active. So here we can see automatically as I'm going to receive a new lead through Google ads, which has the email address that is acceptable in Flowdesk can create a new subscriber, then automatically it will create a new subscriber in Flowdesk by using all the detail of the lead through Google Ads. So here I have successfully created this automation between Google Ads and Flowdesk. And now as I'm going to receive a new lead through Google Ads, then it will automatically create new subscriber in Flowdesk. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And now what I want is that automatically I want to add all the lead detail in my Google Sheet. So for that, I need to add my last action step and here in my action application, I'm going to use Google Sheets. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select Google Sheets here. Now I have to give my action event. So I'm going to open this tab and add new row will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will sign in with Google. Now I have to click on allow to give access to my account. And here I have successfully connected Google Sheets with Pabli Connect.
Now what I need to do is I need to add all the detail of my lead that I'm going to receive through Google Ads in Google Sheet. And for that, I need to first select my spreadsheet. So for the spreadsheet, I need to take you to Google Sheets. And here in Google Sheets, I have this particular spreadsheet of Google Ads lead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all the detail of my lead that I'm going to receive through Google Ads in this particular spreadsheet. So for this, let me take you back to Public Connect. And now for selecting my spreadsheet, I need to open this tab. And here in this tab, I will find all the spreadsheets that I have in my Google Sheet account. And I'm going to use this particular spreadsheet of Google Ads lead. So I'm going to select this. And here we can see all the details have changed according to my spreadsheet. Now here I have all these tab of name, email, phone number and the city. So these are the columns that I have in my spreadsheet. And in these column, I need to add the detail of my lead. So I'm going to map that from my response of Google Ads. So I need to click here. I will open this response of Google Ads. And here I'm going to first map the first name. So I'm going to map that. I will give a space and I'm going to map the last name. Similarly, I'm going to map the email address. So I need to click here. I will open this response of Google Ads. And here this is the email address. So I'm going to map this. Now I'm going to give the phone number and I'm going to give the city. Now I have mapped all the required details. So I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have automatically added all the detail of my lead that I have received through Google ads in my Google sheet. So to check this, let me take you to Google sheet. And here in Google sheet, we can see I have added this new row. So here the name is first name, last name, email is test at the rate example.com. And I have received this phone number that is random phone number of my lead. And I have the city that is mountain view. So here we can see that I have received all these details of my lead through Google ads. And this is my test lead that I've generated by using my test campaign in Google ads. And by using that lead detail from Google ads, I have added those details automatically in my Google sheet. So here I've successfully created this automation between Google ads, Flowdesk and Google sheet. And now as I'm going to receive a new lead through Google ads, then automatically it will first create a new subscriber in Flowdesk. And after creating that as a subscriber in Flowdesk, I will add all my lead details in my Google sheet. So here I have successfully created this automation and I have created this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, I have created this connection between Google ads, Flowdesk and Google sheet to automatically create Flowdesk subscriber from Google ads and add details in Google sheet. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I've set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google ads and my trigger even was new lead form entry. Then I've set up my action steps and first I have used Flowdesk as my action application and my action even was create slash update subscriber. Then in the last I have used Google sheets as my action application and my action even was add new row. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description. So you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.